I don't know. A weak minion also. Dark cultists are really good. Spider tanks really good. So all my three draws uh, drops are helpful. Only priest and mage here. You asked for it. The light shall bring victory. Three three three. <laughs> That's not too surprising. I would like to keep the dark cultists going first. I really wanted to drop. Ouch! Didn't work out. So I have to pick up uh, two or three. Uh, well, the rest will. Well, the rest will get there. Well, I got a dark cultist back. Clockwork gnome would have been nice. At least he kept only one card, so ah, he's going to coin on something. Never mind. No? Okay. I will just play this because I have a 3 and a 4. Maybe he feels inclined to ping this. If he does, I might get an advantage on the board because Dark Cult is such a strong minion. He wanted to coin out something, so he definitely had a play for this turn, which I hopefully denied him. So many temple enforcers. All of them in one place. I really need a, need something to play for turn 5 though. Even a 3 drop like heal. Something. Uh, if he has a war elemental, it would be annoying. One of these was like a shadow of pain or death. What to do? What to do? Okay. Coin? No coin. To coin or not to coin? It's always the question. I think I can't afford to hit and heal. I don't want to play the Pikmin Hunter next turn. How many cards do I have? I have the Ysera, I have the Mind Control, and these three, and a Sunwalker. So there's like only one card, uh, only these three out of 23 cards that I couldn't play next turn. Hmm. Other than like Silence or Light of the Naru, maybe. What we do. I think the rest is minions, anyways. Are you serious? The 3 and 23. Let me just calculate a percentage. Ah, 13. Okay, I got screwed by 13%. I guess that's fair. Um. No, that's two, that's four again. I'll just. Maybe I just play the big game hunter. Yeah. My fate is sealed. I've got the beast in my I need something to be buffed. If the. If he just pings the cultist. Four attack is somewhat scary. Overall, I have seven attack. If he just plays like a four six. And then I have a buff target for one of these Temple Enforcers, which I need. <laughs> if he pings this, that's a Yeti, and then it's going to be 4-8 against this 3-mana play. I really have to drop this, even though I don't like it. That's bad. Why didn't you show up the last turns? Huh? Huh? I don't want to give him a Sunwalker. Um, I could go for 50-50, I guess. Hit the... Huh. It's not great. Let's just do it this way. It's not Mirror Entity. Um, gotcha. my fate is it's great. I could have played one of my six drops. I waited to play for the entire game. But it's not Ice Barrier, it's not Vapor Ice, it's not Mirror Entity. Might be Duplicate. And I definitely want to hit this. I think he wouldn't have played it if it was Duplicate though. Would be a little bit strange. However, playing around Flame Strike should mean... Um, 
this. Sunwalker. Sunwalker survives, nothing else. Um. Let's do it this way. It's not duplicate. So it's probably something with spells or ice block. This block doesn't do anything for him. <laughs> this will be insane. <laughs> And another secret. My shield for Argus. Maybe that's a duplicate now. <laughs> I could unfreeze it. Hit here. Unfreeze it. It's nine. Nine is not enough, anyways. I can simply do this and this. Um, the problem is, again, mirror entity? Well, I'll, I'll check it out, I guess. If I hit here, this gets frozen the next turn. Hmm. But I could keep this alive, maybe. Goes down to three, goes up to five. Not duplicate. This was pretty dumb actually, because I want to heal it anyways, because of my fate is ah, whatever. Yeah. I think I can't afford to play anything here. Um the Wailing Soul is really bad with all my health buff things. I guess this should be mirror entity and this something with spells. Someday I'll be just like you. For Blackwing. If I played it better the last turn with Spider Tank not being frozen, I could just play the Earthen or trade here or something. This was pretty dumb. Is this buffed? Yep. Okay, these are strange secrets. Truth is my shield. But they're identified as counterspell, ice block, spellbender. Wow, that's nice for you. And of course. I guess I might just drop Ysera. Although I kind of want to heal my stuff also. This goes up to 8 if I do this. 8 would be pretty good I guess. <laughs> Developing more minions that survive flame strike is pretty good. I kept this card for quite some time. I'm I'm curious to know what it is. And we'll finally know. Ah, interesting. It's quite okay in Mage. So it's one, two, three, four, five guys. I have four attacks. Um, however, he... Hmm. He doesn't have any more cards, so I'm not that afraid. And if it's ice block, he can do some silly trades and stuff. I guess even if it's not ice block, and I lured it down to two out of three, and I don't have spells to check it. So I guess I can just clear his board here. Like, do this. Do this.
Okay. These are a lot of secrets. I can't really play into an ice block very well if I want to play around vaporize. Ice bear. Eh, I didn't check for ice bear, that's true. Oh, that's the mirror entity. I'll never find out what it was. All these temple enforcers are are making me so comfortable against even possible flame strikes. I just can't help like they survive flame strikes by themselves and they can make another minion survive a flame strike. It's pretty good. I think the blue gold warrior play in the first like turn two was pretty good also. Helped me to get some tempo going. Speaking of which, I think I keep this. I also can kill a 3-2 minion if I have to. And if I don't pick up another 2-drop, I can play it like I did in the last game. Oh, this Wailing Soul is so bad against all my Dark Cultist, Temple Enforcer, Sunwalker things. Okay, that's bad now. So I have a decent curve, it seems like. Slippery. It's three. Nah. Don't really want to drop my Dark Cultist on this board. It just needs one damage to kill it off without the Death Rattle, and the Death Rattle is what makes it very scary. Did it get better though? Eh, well, he needs two damage now. I really hate that he's going first, actually. <laughs> Four mana into my. will help a lot. Ooh, that's pretty good for him. Oh, this is really, really good for him. Guess I'll just play this now. Yay, the first time that I could actually play it. Just because it's a 3-5. 3-5 is so much better than 4-4 four, four or 3-4 three, four here. It's 4 damage on the board. Like, 4 with this and this. So you might need to trade everything in or something. Or maybe just use a quick shot. And hero power. Oh man, that's doing so many efficient things here. And he doesn't even have to get rid of it anytime soon. <laughs> because if I played Blue Girl Warrior, eh, well, I could have played Dark Cultist, then he trades both in. It doesn't help, though. So. Uh, might have been the better play. One, three, six. The two thing is not going to do anything now. I must consider. Hmm. Maybe just this way. I want to have attacks on the board. And if he trades. Let's say the sniper into the light warden, I can at least get over it with the blue gill warrior. The light compels you. All these exorcists today. Okay.
like this. Blow kill. Oh. I'm rewind, there's too much anti tempo. I can use the mind control in three turns, which means I don't want him to play any big stuff until then. He still has this web spinner beast. Which is a little bit scary. I wonder. Oh, this Steam Whittle Sniper got so much value. I'm really impressed. Uh, not more cards. I want to outcard you, man. Stop it. But I might be able to keep my Temple Enforcers alive at least. Okay. Maybe not. Finally got rid of the sniper then. Hmm. If I make this a 2-4, it's a 3-4. It's a 2-3. Well, I develop a 6-6. Six, six. Should be good enough. Okay, no. That's better. Especially because the sniper's gone. And if I can buff one of these, it will be a lot better for me. He has a pretty low curve deck. I think that's the most expensive card he played so far. It's interesting that I'm still at such a high life total. He played it very controllish, but also pre oh. oh. I want this to have next. Oh, oh. What? Where's my BGH? Wow. <laughs> That's scary. This is really scary. Well, I can at least kill this. I could actually kill this. Doesn't make a difference. Um. This is 11, 12, 14. I definitely have to heal myself. He has kill command or something, or a king crush from his web spinner. I love he got king crush from his web spinner. I'm dead, but eh, maybe not. I could mind control it and run it into something. Be 17, 19, 20. Ah, eh, well, I would be dead. Fine. Oh no, that's a regular king crush. It's not created by web spinner. Great. My calls. My calls. BGH? No. Okay, so my mission is to clear this board and to heal myself for two mana, uh, for two health. And then to stay alive somehow. These are four guys, I have three attacks. I have four attacks. It's still not possible. I, must I could mind control this. If I wasn't that low, actually, if I wouldn't have healed myself, I would be dead now. But if I wouldn't be that low, I could probably do something here. Like trade, trade, this into that, trade. But I'm at one, so I'm dead anyways. Any time reviner shenanigans? Mm. Hit it. Hit. Uh, if not taunts really. Shredder, I can pop it. So sad. I'm, I'm I'm so close to stabilizing, but the King Crush. Ah. Well played. The King Crush. Uh, I called it. Called it again. The legendary caller. Anduin versus Garrosh. Oh, warrior. The light shall bring I'm not keeping this. It's a mediocre three. I have so many more threes. Ha! Huh, paid off. I, I kept two cards. 
Might be a war eggs, might be something like Taskmaster. Back to work. I'm on fire today. This Taskmaster was super effective. As a two for one. Otherwise I could have traded very well. It's quite sad. If it's on curve, it might draw me two cards. If you place this over Exactly, over this card it's probably not fireworks in a sand then. Actually I could pop the divine shield. Draw one card. Heal it back up. Oh. Could also reversing switch it. It's way less scary then. That's fun. Let us see if this works. Bring the pain. This was a weak turn. Only trade one, not two. That's interesting. But he doesn't have a way to go over it, it seems like, so I will just do this. He gets another imp, yes, but I couldn't really trade with this anyways. Toshley is a, quite a good card. So I want to heal this to get rid of an imp, I guess. Actually, this lines up quite well against this. Might be worth developing the panther. Maybe just panther, shredder, hit, hit, hit. Then he did this, this, this. Hmm. Still better, I think. Actually, I should have done it with... Whoops. I should have done it with the uh, Fan Creeper, because he's going to trade here anyways. Yep. Would have gotten more value out of this, and... A little bit more tempo because of three more damage to his face. It doesn't quite matter though. Probably. Ouch. That's another big one. So why do I have Big Game Hunter in my deck? When I never see it. <laughs> ah, cold it again. I've got the beast in my side. I think, oh, okay. I was about to say I think a 2-4 might actually be better for me, but of course it's not if it just gets destroyed by Kodo. Um, I can respect that. I dream and the world I 
dream. <laughs> 10, 14, 18. Well played. Oh. Oh. I have to admit it's either easier than I thought to actually go into the m late mid game. Um, I thought it would be a, it would be a lot more pressured, but these um, especially the dark cultists help a lot by keeping my stuff alive, or at least to force my opponent to trade awkwardly. And I wasn't really up against the rush deck so far. And not against something like, I don't know. A Northshire Cleric into Coin Valence Chosen. <clears throat> oh, these are all mediocre. That's way better. I could actually coin Cannon Hello? to get a Shrinkmeister trade. He kept one card, it's likely that he has something. That I might be able to trade in. 3 2 is the dream, of course. Nice. Oh, mirror image? Mirror image? Might be. Three, three, three. <clears throat> it's better than six, six, six. That's for sure. I wonder. My work is paramount. Leave me alone. Okay. At least no three five. I can't get a good trade here. Could heal this, make it a 2 1, trade both. No. Especially with this, you need to clear all of this first. This will help a lot. Like, what I could have done is trade both, heal this before, and then light of the narrow after for no light warden. Just to keep a 2-3 on the board. But this is a lot scarier. Especially because if he trades here, for example, I can still like hit this, heal it back up. What to do? Unfortunately, I don't have a 2-drop to play with it, but maybe I get one. I probably don't get one. I already got two, but he doesn't now. runs out on me. Mm -hmm. So this was what I suspected to be um what was it called? Mirror image. Oh that's great. My fate is sealed. The thing is even if I would have kept my force that I got, I think one was like Ancient Mage would still be a worse board, even though I would have played it on four. That's how bad Ancient Mage is. It's five cards, I have six and draw one. So I'm two cards ahead right now. But without my Temple of Forces, everything might die to a flame strength. Also if you place a four six or something, it gets a little bit awkward here. It's okay. I might as well just trade both. It's interesting how I don't draw any light game right now. Well, I have a mind control, but... You, you know what I mean. Of course. If he has something like Blizzard... I don't want him to like do this and blizzard, I think. It's okay when this if this dies and if he pings this, 
He just has four mana against my seven power on the board. I can always trade this in and make this a four seven. What to do? Then I can heal it back up, play Spider Tank, Clockwork Gnome, something like that. It's one before the Flame Strike, and I don't have anything that survives the Flame Strike, though. It's a little bit of a problem. A little bit. Slight consideration. What to do? What to do? Okay, I won't win by card advantage, it seems like. I will probably win by tempo then. Tempo Enforcer! Nice. So if he, he... He got a lot of draws in the meantime, so if he has a flame strike, both of these survive and one of them will get buffed, so... That's not an option for him anymore. That's why I chose this one over this. Also, it has a higher attack value. Need high attack values. I wonder. Four turns until mind control. It's amazing how slow this card actually is. turn. Hmm. At 7, he's at 11. I don't have any attack buffs, so that's pretty much fine. Um, Flame Strike is still consideration. He will be at 7. This will be huge, but he will be at 7 only. So. Hmm. I think I'll play this. And play around mind control pack this way. And flame strike to an extent. I think I'm far enough ahead to do so. But I need to play a minion in case of him doing like fireball ping frostbolt. Well this lines up quite well because I have just four and three attack values here. I should have played the clockwork gnome too, but I didn't want to oh, oh no. I don't, didn't want to be vulnerable to... What did I say? Mind control attack. So I'll have to sacrifice one of these. Uh, it's still a little bit... Mind control is still a little bit away. My fate is sealed. 4-10. Like, why not? Well, I'll be left with a two drop. Okay. Yep. Looks like no flames, right? Uh, make the full deck. Yep. The best one? Okay. So, it was right to play around it the last turn. Couldn't really play around it when this was. Like, when the Molten Giant was on the board. <laughs> so that's a lot. That's 12, that's 15. Double Fireball Ping could win him the game. Seems like he doesn't have a flame strike though.
Let's see. That's a two, one, two, three. So that's a seven, seven. If I keep it, <sighs> yeah, okay. Let's, let's just go for this. If he sets up a taunt, I can mind control it. Double fireball kills me. Okay. Fine. Double fireball ping would be exactly lethal. <clears throat> but I guess he would have fireballed something earlier than the Drake, for example. What to do? And so much stealth. What to do? Well played. Well, this was surprisingly close in the end. Molten Giant is a huge swing card. And the Belcher lined up quite well against my minions. But if I would have played the Clockwork Gnome earlier, he would have had the mind control tech one turn earlier. <laughs>